Hello everyone and welcome to the React JS tutorials. Before we begin our video, let me tell you something. Being a front-end developer is so much easier with React JS. You will surely love working with React JS once you learn it. So before starting it, let us dive into the basics. So the first thing which comes in mind is what is React? React is a JavaScript view library for building fast and interactive user interfaces. It was developed by Facebook in 2008 and it is also maintained by Facebook. Even Facebook is created using React. The next question is why use or learn React.js? It is efficient, declarative and flexible. That is, you just have to tell React what to do not the process. Let me give you an example. You want to draw a landscape, so you tell a painter to do it for you. You do not tell him the process, you just give him the command. This is what we do in React. React is useful in creating single page web applications. It is very easy to create single page applications using React. Also, it is very much in demand for the coming years. Have you noticed getting notifications on your Facebook instantly without refreshing your browser? It is because there is no refresh in web applications when they are made using React.js. This gives a better user experience. Other applications like YouTube and Instagram have also been made using React. So you will notice the same feature there. React is a library, not a framework like Angular or Vue. We use other libraries to support things like HTTP services and routing. So here we have freedom to use libraries of our choice and we are not stuck with what the framework gives. Let us now see the advantages of using React. React gives complex UI composed using small pieces of code called components. Components are nothing more than small pieces of codes. We will discuss them in detail later on. In short, we can say that React has component-based architecture. We simply divide a complete web application into small components like the header, the main content, the side nav, etc. We build these components individually and simply render them together. Another advantage is these components have reusable code. It means that the code can be used in other frameworks or other libraries with small changes in data. Having reusable code is the biggest advantage in today's world. React is not just for web applications, but we can move on to mobile application development using React Native after we are done learning React JS. Let me give you an example. I want an, a web application to have a header component, next side nav component, Next, I wanted to have a main content component and I also wanted to have a footer component. So using React, I will create all these components individually and then when I render them, I will get this complete user interface together. I hope now you understand components a little bit. Moving on to the prerequisite, we require HTML, CSS and JavaScript knowledge before learning React.js. You should know JavaScript, CSS and HTML in a little bit detail. Also, you must know ES6. You do not need to be an expert in ES6. ES6 is modern JavaScript. It is basically a superset of JavaScript. You do not have to worry about all this. You just have to have some basic knowledge. 
so without any further delay let's get on with environment setup for react js so first we will install node js a cross platform javascript runtime environment so just head over to google type node js open the official website and download it according to your operating system mine is windows 11 you will see the option recommended for most users so you need to click on that option to download it so now we will install it just basic steps check on the box and then click on next and it will take a little bit of time what node js does is that it executes javascript code outside of a browser basically we don't need anything extra for running up a node application Next we will install a code editor it can be any of your choice but i recommend visual studio code so visit the official website and then download it according to your operating system i recommend visual studio code because it is easy to use and it is beginner friendly you can also read the documentation and the process to get started on the official website so we will install it simple basic steps just click on next make sure you check all these boxes for a better experience and just click on next and we will be done soon so now we get the option to launch no need to do anything now so we will just close it and go to command prompt that is we'll type cmd in a search bar and open the command prompt write node space dash v to get the node version next we will type npm dash v and we will get the npm version npm was installed along with node js next we will do a cd into whatever place you want to launch your react app so i have documents and then i will go to react and then type npx create dash react dash app and the name of your react app i name it demo project and just hit enter make sure you do not have any capital letters in the name of your project so i'll just type y and the process starts this is going to take a little bit of time so have patience make sure you have a node version above uh, version 15 so that you can use this command otherwise it will not support so make sure you update node uh, js if you have already installed it or just go ahead and install the latest version react provides you with a language to describe the ui of the web application and node js helps you with all sorts of back end like setting up sc server scripting etc okay so we are done installing you will get a message happy hacking so when you are uh, get that message so you are done with the process now we will just cd into our demo project or whatever you have named your project so cd demo project hit enter and then type npm start so now the development server will start in a few minutes and you will launch your first react application so we will wait for a little bit of time it is loading so congratulations on running your first react app so you can see the web page it is on local host and you can see the icon of react js you can also see learn react option you can go and read some documentations so that's it for today's video stay tuned for our next video